guys, I just wanted to say welcome to uh, my video with its brand new intro and I hope you enjoy this craft. Hi everybody, today's video is going to be a Disney how-to and I'm going to be making a replica spell book from Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. The main thing you're going to need for this craft is a large hardcover book. Um, I'm going to be using two but you only need one. Uh, you can use two if you like, if you want to do exactly what I'm doing, but if you only have one, you can still do this. Uh, I picked up both of these from a thrift store, so I'm going to take off the little price tags and take off the dust jacket, and then I'll be back. So the reason I'm going to be using two is because I want to make one that has the cover and one that is going to be open with the spells. And the only reason I'm doing this is because I want to be able to display it both at once, the cover and the open book. But if you only have one book, then you can just create the cover and then create the spells on the inside and then it can be either open or closed. Uh, so one of mine will be a cover. I'm going to do that with the smaller book and then the inner book I'm going to use the larger version um, and the only reason I've done that is because the pages are bigger and it's going to be easier for me to do the writing on them. So I've done a quick google search to have a look at the covers of the spell book and this is what it looks like in the film. I've actually decided I'm going to go a different way. I found a t-shirt on a pop culture game store website and I'm going to model the cover a little bit more like this. Um, it's not as accurate as this one. This is more authentic. Uh, but this one looks more quintessentially Snow White to me. So uh, I'm just going to go with that one. And I'm going to um, print this out and blow it up a little bit. And then I'm going to transfer it onto the book that I'm decorating the cover of. And then I'll come back and show you what to do next. So excuse the background noise, my husband is building stuff in the garage. Um, I ended up changing my design from what I originally said um, because that one on the t-shirt, the apple face was on a funny angle and I didn't love it. Uh, and also the text was not as big as I would like it. So I kept the same idea of the apple head and then this word, but uh, I traced this um, from an image on the computer of just a face on um, poison apple and then uh, blew this text up slightly and traced that as well. So um, I'm going to use the scribble method of getting this onto the book where you colour in the back of the page with a dark um, like 4B or 6B pencil and then I'm going to um, trace around the outline on top of the book to get this to go onto the front of the book and then I'll come back and show you when that's done. So I just wanted to come back mid-process to show you what I'm doing. So I've scribbled all over the back of this with a 4B pencil. And then I've just taped this on to the place I want it. And then traced around with a pen. And then what you get is this outline. So I'm going to do the poison as well. Then I'm going to outline what's on the book. Um, probably with a Sharpie. Because uh, this is a glossy picture cover it's obviously quite hard to see the outline and down here it's really difficult so uh, I'll finish this and then I'll outline the whole lot with a sharpie and then it'll be the next step in the process so I've got the writing on um, and it's not staying on that well because it's a really glossy book so I'm gonna move on to the next step now so I've got the hot glue gun heating and I'm going to cover the whole outline and inside here with hot glue just leaving the eyes and the nose clear and then I'm going to do the same with the lettering and then I'll come back and show you the next step okay so this is how it should look once you've hot glued um, after I hot glued, I just went around and picked off all the little um, strings. You know, you get these tiny little stringy bits. Uh, I just, it doesn't have to be perfect, but I did just want to make sure that it's um, as tidy as I can get it before I go to the next stage. So the next step now is I'm going to Mod Podge with a paintbrush over the entire book. And then I'm going to lay dampened paper towels over the book. And then I'm going to Mod Podge over the top of it again. So I'll come back in between each step and uh, show you what it should look like. Okay, so I've actually only Mod Podge to halfway uh, because I've done it quite thickly and I'm concerned about it drying before I get to the next step. So the next step is that I'm going to uh, lay paper towels 
damp paper towels so I'm just going to do one at a time or at least half the book at a time so I'm just going to uh, spray it with a water sprayer on the back lay it down and then spray it over the top of it then I'm going to Mod Podge the other half and paper towel over the top is of that as well so I've sprayed the paper towels and then laid them on and then sprayed over the top and now I'm just going to go around with the paintbrush I used on the Mod Podge and I'm going to lightly Mod Podge over the top and when I do so I'm going to try and um, push the paper towel down into all of the grooves so that the glued area um, stands out again because at the moment obviously it's kind of fading into the background so just try and stick this down and get all the letters and everything to be standing up again. Okay so I've done this step <clears throat> I ended up making a few intentional rips in the paper towel because it came full of air bubbles and then these bits were like standing out um, so I just made a few holes to try and let the air out so I could um, press it in around these bits. Uh, what I'm going to do now is leave it to dry for probably about an hour and then I'm going to come back and I'm going to do the back and then I'm going to open the book and Mod Podge these pieces down on the inside. Okay I am back and it is the next day because I thought it would take an hour to dry but I was completely kidding myself and it took all night. So the front is now dry and I'm going to just put the damp uh, paper towels and Mod Podge on the back, obviously with no glue or anything. Then I'm going to open the inside cover and just Mod Podge these pieces down um, so that they're nice and flat. And then I'm going to do the same to the back and then I will come back. So I have done the back. I didn't dampen the paper towel this time because I didn't need to work the paper towels into all the little grooves of the glue. So I just Mod Podged, put the paper towels down and then Mod Podged over the top. Uh, I've also done the inside cover of the front and now I'm going to wait for this one to dry to do the inside cover. On the inside cover at the front I also Mod Podged over the first page and then stuck the first page onto the cover so that it hides the paper towels and I'll do the same on this. So I will show you what that looks like when this is dry and when I've done it. Okay, we are finally in the home stretch with this. So we've got the front dry and the back dry, and then we've got all of the insides done. So this is glued down, and underneath is the seams of the paper towel. And then on the inside front, we've got the same. Uh, now, one thing I would like to do, but I'm not sure if I have the uh, patience for it, Sorry, my husband made a whole pile of noise and I turned it off. By the way, excuse my Mickey Mouse pajama pants that you can see. Anyway, what I was saying was uh, I would like to actually glue down every page of this book so that it doesn't open, but I'm not going to do that today um, because that is a seriously labor-intensive job. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to paint the end with um, a watered-down brown just to make the pages, or at least the edge of the pages, look old. Then I'm going to paint the entire book. So now I'm going to go with uh, green for the dripping poison and then red uh, where the apple should be. I got a pencil and I just drew a little line along the bottom here because obviously I didn't glue the apple part. This is the edge of the apple. These parts of the apple showing through happened naturally from being um, not glued but there's no actual edge at the bottom so I'm going to paint red just in along here and up into the gaps and then into these gaps so green red uh, the t-shirt that I looked at that I'm kind of basing this on had this painted the same green as the apple so I think that's probably what I'm going to go for and then I'm going to paint the rest of the entire book black so that is what I'm going to do next and then we will be just about done just an in-between update so this is what I've done so far I'm going to paint the black around all this now but I'm going to wait until it dries because I want to be able to get right into the outline without smudging the green once I've done all over black I'm going to do a little bit of shading and then it will be finished just further to my discussion about gluing all the pages down uh, my plan was to do the pages like this with brown paint watered down but I ended up using um, brown and white paint mixed with Mod Podge and I'm hoping that it sticks the pages together at least enough that they don't 
easily fan open. Uh, so results on that later while it's still drying, uh, but we'll see how it goes. Okay, so it's all done and painted. Uh, one of the things I would change in hindsight was gluing the inside page, the first page to the inside cover. This is the glued page that I did with Mod Podge. But as you can see, I had to paint the inside edges of the book so that when the book is shut, uh, you can't see anything but the black paint. And in doing that, I've kind of made a mess of this inside page. So if I was going to do this craft again, I would paint the whole book first and then Mod Podge down that first page so that the edges were tidy like that. Uh, I, I may still I may still stick this one down. I kind of don't know if there's a point because um, this page is nice and white and this one is like, you know, publishing information for a cookbook. So that may be pointless. Uh, next and final step on this is I'm going to use a bit of this brown paint and a nice um, thick one inch paintbrush and I'm just going to do a bit of shading so I'm just going to super lightly um, kind of touch over the black just to kind of age it a little bit and give it a bit more depth rather than being completely black. Uh, and then it will be finished. One of the things I absolutely love about this is um, the texture of the paper towel on the book because it's not glossy and smooth like it was anymore. And, uh, you know, I watched a craft a few weeks ago and it was somebody making the Hocus Pocus book, which is supposed to be, like, bound out of human skin. And that's kind of what this reminds me of. It just, it looks old and cool. I like the texture. So I'm just going over this now and I'm using basically a dry brushing technique. So I'm just dipping in the paint and then basically um, taking most of the paint back off the brush and then just really lightly brushing along to give it a little bit of brown. I don't want the book to be painted brown and I don't really want the colour. What I want is that kind of aged look that looks deeper than just a plain black. So... Um, I'm not kind of coating the whole thing in brown, I'm just sort of brushing over the black parts as lightly as I possibly can with as little paint as I possibly can to achieve that. So this book is now complete. I'm going to move on to working on the book that I'm going to display open, but this book is going to be displayed closed, and so for now this craft is complete. So I'm going to use this printable, which I will link down below. Uh, I got this off the Craft Shack, which has a bunch of different pages you can put in. They've got like a Mickey Mouse themed one. They've got um, the Ursula voice stealing spell. They've got something from the Sword in the Stone and also the Hocus Pocus one, uh, the spell she put on Thackeray Binks. But I'm going to use these pages because they are Snow White themed and it goes with the cover that I've made. So I'm going to print these off and then I'll come back. So I ended up changing to a much smaller book than the huge one I saw before uh, because I couldn't get the printables that I wanted to use big enough uh, without them becoming like super pixelated. So I've gone for a smaller book. I wanted one that fit completely within the page size because I don't want the page to have any gaps. I want this to completely overlap the page. So I'm going to cut this out and then stick it on as it is. It's going to be too big and then I'm going to trim it down once it's stuck on with Mod Podge. So I've cut them out and when I put them, um, oh by the way they've got these kind of burnt edges which were hard to cut around but look really cool. When I put them into the middle though there's a bit of book still left and I just think it's going to look weird. So I'm going to do a very tedious task which is I'm going to trim every page in this book so that the pages are the same or slightly narrower than these pages. Uh, because I want these pages to either overhang or be sitting right at the edge of the book pages. So it's going to take me a little while, um, but then I think I will be ready to Mod Podge. Okay, so I have cut the book pages down on both sides, and I have also trimmed the top and bottom of this just to make sure it fits exactly lengthwise. There's a tiny bit of overhang over here, but I kind of don't want to fix that because I want this burnt edge and if I cut it off I mean I already had to cut it off the top and the bottom and I like it so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to mod podge the sides on both and um, 
just put something heavy on it to hold it down until they dry because I don't want this I don't want these pages to flap around I just want them to stay shut then I'm going to Mod Podge these pages and put these on um, I'm going to put these as close to the center as I can and then I'll be done so this is the final product and I'm going to sit this next to the cover that I made and uh, I'll show you its final uh, display location and that's it. Hope you enjoyed this video.